Yo guys, the topic of this video guys is about how tolerance is for losers guys. Tolerance is for losers, go in your room man. Sorry, slight interruption there guys. But the topic guys of this video is gonna be about how tolerance is for losers. Tolerance is for losers guys, tolerance is for losers. I really wanna like, kind of drill this into you guys that you tolerance there's no reason that you should there's no reason why you should tolerate anything guys any type of like any type of like irritation or etc there's no reason to tolerate anything in life guys especially when you become more of an adult you, there's no reason if something's like if you're suffering from like some type of problems maybe perhaps some people are like there's like certain people that annoy you or something like that or you're getting like irritated by something there's no reason why you should tolerate any type of irritant or anything that's like causing a lot of problems for your mental health or something similar tolerance is for losers guys especially in like modern western societies we always get brainwashed a little bit we always get told to be as, as nice as possible to other people and to not treat people badly and to kind of try and like cater to everyone's needs and try and comfort people and not be too harsh I do believe in that, so I do think that's good to do. I do think being like having hospitality that is like, important, guys. But there's no reason why you should not. Do that. But the top, that's not what the topic of this video is about. The topic of this video is about, guys, how tolerance is sort of for losers. There's no reason why you should tolerate anything that is causing you a lot of like trouble. Basically, that's what I'm trying to really get at, guys. Because a lot of men, young men, young women, they get like sort of brainwashed, especially by modern Western societies and media and stuff. They get told that they need to be fucking comforting to everyone they shouldn't like raise their voice they should not get angry when like people are giving them problems and issues guys especially like in regards to like this oh, this fucking relates to so many different fucking things especially marriage guys marriage and relationships and all that relates to that as well especially marriage guys i see like so many men and women they get married and the woman starts to like fucking get turned into a, a fucking hag a bitch basically and she starts nagging the husband's ear off and the husband is always, you have to stay in the marriage, you can't break away. And so the husband has to start to tolerate all of these like abuses from the wife, all of that. That's like a little bit different. That's, that kind of relates to MGTOW, maybe not MGTOW, I don't want to use that word in this video, but guys, tolerance is for losers, guys. There's no reason why you should fucking tolerate anything, guys. Tolerance is for losers, guys. Tolerance is for losers, guys. I really do, uh, uh, yes, yeah, certain, sometimes, uh, it's so like common, guys. Now, a lot of us, we, we tend to grow up sort of like a little bit brainwashed and to be like overly nice and caring and catering to people's needs when that's kind of like fucking delusional guys and kind of a little bit stupid guys because if you're, if you're going to be overly nice, you're just going to get stepped over, man. Tolerance is for losers, man. Basically, I'm trying to tell you guys to make sure that you kind of have a rule book, a rule book that you, you have for yourself, something like some type of standard for yourself that this type of standard, that's how you, if someone breaks that, these have your these types of rules that you have for yourself and for, and how people like basically if you if, if you have you have your you have like expectations if certain people don't meet your expectations you get rid of them that's basically what i'm trying to get at guys tolerance is for losers let's just say hypothetically guys you get you're, you're like a man and you get into a in, in, into marriage with like some type of woman but the woman she starts to be like a little bit more abusive a little bit more aggressive guys a little bit more abusive a little bit more aggressive guys the woman starts to like insult you and hurt your feelings it starts to be a little, it starts to like damage you psychologically, man. The woman starts to fucking get more like uppity towards you and stuff. And basically, all I'm saying is that you should not fucking put up with that type of bullshit. You should just get rid of the woman, guys. Don't be afraid to lose people. People that are like starting to hurt you psychologically and mentally, don't be afraid to get rid of these types of people, whoever they are, even if they're your parents, maybe perhaps, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's just keep going with this hypothetical example. You're like a man, you're in like a, you get married to a woman, etc. And but now she, and she's not as nice as she used to be. And she's starting to become a little bit more of like harsh towards you. And she's starting to insult you. And she's starting to pick at you. And she's starting to take, chip away your character and etc. There's all these like little bullshit things that are coming from her. You don't have to tolerate that bullshit, guys. Kick her, kick her ass out. Put her on the streets, guys. Don't be afraid to do this, man. Don't be afraid to kick people out if they don't meet your expectations. That is so important, guys. A lot of us, we fear losing people and we fear loneliness. And then, and so we have to. Then we we, we force ourselves to, to to tolerate all these like abuses and like problems and pains and issues, guys. Always have your expectations, guys. Never fucking tolerate anything. Tolerance is for losers, guys. There's no reason why, as a man, especially if you're an adult, that you should tolerate it. There's no reason why you should tolerate anything, any slight issue that's causing you any type of like pain or frustration, guys. Get rid of that issue. Kick it out. Try and kick it as hard as you can out of your life, or move yourself somewhere else so you don't have to deal with it anymore. 
so it fucking pains me guys that so many young men especially because I, I i do care to men's needs because i am a man myself maybe if you're a woman you can watch some other type of youtube channel but this is i always i'm only going to be talking about really men's issues guys so many men young men man they fucking they fucking live their lives like basically like in such a horrendous way they, they cower and they're cowards basically and they they put up with so much bullshit from other people from like maybe perhaps their spouses or maybe perhaps from their parents maybe perhaps from other some other type of like relatives or like people that are like very close to them they get they, they, they like, especially if you're from like the west you get raised in such a cowardly way that you have to tolerate other people's like bullshit which is kind of like fucked up guys that really fucking ruins it kind of dwindles your mental your mental health it kind of ruins your self-esteem and causes all these anxiety issues and whatever guys tolerance is for losers guys tolerance is for losers there's no reason why you should tolerate anything guys anything tolerance is for losers guys pains me guys i see so many people they get brought up in such a horrendous way and they fucking they get brought up in such a horrendous way and they fucking it, it, it pains me guys that, that i see these types of people they fucking they have to deal with so much bullshit and they can't they can't like fucking resist that they have to like just fucking go through so much bullshit in life and they have they can't get out of that and stuff and they're stuck in that type of way guys it's so fucking horrendous to me guys it's so atrocious it's so insane Tolerances for losers, guys. If something's causing, if there's like certain people that are causing you issues, a lot of pains and problems, guys, there's no, there you as a man, you should not be afraid to try and as hard as you can to kick them out of your life or try and move away somewhere else. Tolerance is for losers, guys. If if there's something in your life that doesn't, that that isn't like, that doesn't meet your expectations, I'm, why why would you like put up with it? It's so fucking stupid, guys. That's how most men live their lives, guys. There's like some some people some like most men they, they they experience some type of issues. There's like some type type of external frustration going on, some type of pain that, that's getting brought on them by some someone or something else, and they just tolerate that. They don't try and move that thing away or try and kick it away. A lot of us young men we fucking there's like all these like external problems, issues, pains, etc. That get like put onto us, and we always a lot of us we just we don't even try and find a way out of that. We we just fucking put up with it. That's so fucking sad, guys. There's no reason why, as a man, you should fucking tolerate anything, any type of bullshit that's coming from other people or, or some other types of things. As a man, you should not be afraid of like kicking. You need to like, as a man, you need to understand that you're like a king and that you have like a great deal of control over your life and that you have like that you can do. Like, you have a lot of power and stuff, and you can use your 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 your, your, your fucking your power and stuff, and you can like use your your body and mind, and you can remove things that are causing you problems. You have to have like a king mentality, a king. A king determines things. A king isn't doesn't like obey. A king determines. A king commands and stuff. Not a king doesn't obey. A king is like a ruler. A, a king determines what's gonna happen and and what isn't gonna happen. Basically, you need to develop this up more. Like a king, obviously, don't be like too delusional. Don't be like too controlling over other people. But especially regarding your own life, you need to think of yourself as like a king, and that you you if something if you, if there's something you don't like, you can immediately remove that thing away from your vicinity. A lot of men they're so they're pussies, man. A lot of us we we get turned we ra we get raised like pussies, guys. What the fuck is going on? You have to develop this type of mindset that you're a fucking king, guys, and that if something doesn't meet your expectations, you can kick that thing out or you can try and move move it out of the or you might want to move yourself out of the way and go somewhere else a lot of us guys we get raised in such a cowardly feeble way guys a lot of us we get turned into pussies by our parents and teachers and like our modern societies and we get we don't we don't have like the mindset that we're kings we have we, a lot of us we develop more of like a slave mindset a slave mentality that oh i have to just put up with things i have to a slave basically can't say no that's the difference between like a king and a slave a slave doesn't have any options or choices a slave just has to put up with his his or her circumstances a slave has to obey like the external external whatever a slave can only obey a slave cannot choose and pick and determine things for himself or he, for him or herself but king guys i always encourage you guys to develop this mindset that you're a fucking king you're the leader of the pack you're you're in charge of your own life if there's some if there's certain things that are frustrating or annoying you guys there's no reason why you should put up with those types of things you need to just kick them out develop this mindset that you're a king and that you can banish whatever is causing you any types of like frustration and irritation and issues a king to a king determines a king doesn't like obey a king isn't cowardly a king picks and chooses and determines stuff and things a king doesn't fucking shy away from anything guys a king is like fucking on the top a king makes the, the decisions and the choices about everything a king never cowers away or becomes a cowardly person 
a lot of us human beings, a lot, especially young men, we 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 were we don't have like a king mentality, a mentality that we're like kings. We a lot of us young men, we have like the mindset and mentality that we're fucking slaves and that we don't we can't choose and we can't determine things for ourselves and we can't determine the external things around us and we have to just put up with like bullshit so much. A lot of us young men, we put up with so much bullshit because be like a king and ask about it.